So you like transmission lines, huh? Well, this is the one of the old school guys, the hardcore motherfuckers, uh, Larry D. Sharp. So he's the guy, the inventor of Acousta Stuff Damping Fiber. Inventor. Well, creator of the brand, I should say. So, um, see, and this is Terminus, which is code for butthole. That's where the, that's where the, the poop, 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 poop. That's where the poop comes out. Uh, this was Larry's idea from 1993. Um, I bought this back then. Had to send him a money order because I didn't even have credit cards back then. Uh, I think I got this in 94, 95. I saw the ad in uh, Speaker Builder magazine, which I just adore. Um, uh, I wish I had time to read them, even the old ones. I, I went and bought a whole bunch of them when they still had them available. I think most of them are only available on PDF now, which is not horrible, but a PDF scan from the 90s is kind of gross looking. But anyways, um, his uh, I think this was his probably a, 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 a shop he dealt with locally or one he maybe had. I don't know. But this is copyrighted for 1993. Um, I blocked out his phone number because you guys are maniacs. Don't fucking call this guy. Just try to find him on online. There's a dedication. Lovely wife, father. And then you go through it and... Uh, it's basically stuff that you find uh, uh, in uh, loudspeaker cookbook. And um, there you go. Lots of math. Um, shows you how you can make it just a straight pipe or a bendy pipe. It doesn't matter because air is a fluid. Go study Bernoulli's work on fluids, fluid behavior. It's pretty high schooly, junior college. Um, for the most part, the only time you really want to use a transmission line and it again, so you got to use this logic guys. I know you guys are fans of transmission lines and you think it's like the cat's meow when, when it's dumb because all you guys use it is for big bass, which is like a, the super waste because transmission lines are traditionally only used by sound quality audiophiles, right? For home audio. We're talking about guys that they can hear a pin drop, you know, that's what they want to hear. But um, the fact that most guys that build TLs now are bass heads is just terrible. So, uh, but um, it's like, it's like going to McDonald's for a steak and, you know, covering it with ketchup and uh, what's that sauce from Rick and Morty, the Mulan sauce, <laughs> I don't even fucking know. Anyways, um, see, right there, so look at that, five eighths particle board, see? Doesn't even use MDF particle board. It's fine. Oops, sorry. Uh, it's fine. So um, what a transmission line is good for is, and again, you really want to experiment. It basically, you make the transmission line uh, at, the, at the lowest frequency that the driver can do, which is its FS, right? So its FS is, let's say, um, whatever, 35 hertz. So then you want to do it a quarter wave. And then what's supposed to happen is that... Uh, the acoustic stuff slows it, gives it resistance, and then it makes it the damping characteristics less peaky and all this other stuff, which I'm sure it does. But if it if it if it was so tits McGee, then why doesn't everybody use it? Right? There's other ways to do it, which is usually just a, a properly made ported box, which is what 99% of the everybody else does. Um, so it's really just sort of a niche thing. Um, and a way to sell acoustic stuff, if that's what you want to do, what, right? So, um, is it misleading? No, 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 there's lots of math here. So this is all for you to just experiment. And back then, you know, that's all, that's all Speaker Builder Magazine was, was just dudes, you know, fucking around and trying to, you know, there was no internet. So nerds had to like do it by mail order. So, but, uh, so you can plan your box, cute stuff. There's the other one. This one's bendy bendy. Um, and then, you know, the, there's a whole thing about, you know, do you use wool? Does this, and that was the whole thing about Acousta stuff. I think I, I told you guys that story um, on how he uh, discovered it. I would say discovered, cause, right? Because nobody invented America. We kind of discovered it and then stole it. So that's what he did. He discovered it and then he stole it and make it his own. And then he resold it to Parts Express. So, but... Um, 
Look at those VIFA drivers. See, they don't even have VIFA anymore. It's all consolidated. And see, there you go. Haven't seen the BASF in a while, right? And then look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Technology. And then that. New technology. So. Ooh, it was only $8.95. That was a good fucking deal. So. But uh, yeah, probably went media mail as well. But that's transmission lines. Uh, transmission lines are dumb. Uh, they're anybody that swears to buy them is dumb too. You guys, you go, you know what? The, you, uh, Curtis was over today and he was like, "Don't call them dumb." And I was like, "But they are." And he says, "No, no, no, no. They just don't know any better." And I go, "That's true. That's a so they're ignorant, right?" But here's the problem: when you're willfully ignorant, right? That's when you use the N word, right? Because that's what willfully ignorant is, 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 is the N word. I don't want to call them the N word. So even though I do off camera, I love that word. That's uh, the be most beautiful word in the English language. But that's, that's another, that's another video. Uh, these people are dumb and they don't know any better. And uh, th then they, they, what's the word? We talked about this too, uh, Curtis and I earlier today. We were talking about um, how guys will come into the forums and, and like you're showing off your system. And then some guy will go, man, you need to throw that trash away and get Wolfram. And um, so there's two reasons why somebody would say that, which is terrible because the guy was happy with his system. There's no reason for him to change, right? He was just showing it off. So number one, this guy is insecure about his choice of Wolfram. And so he's looking for support among other dum-dums, right? And so, or he's a, what's called known as a nut hugger, right? That's somebody that's like a fanboy that loves Wolfram for whatever reason, because it's like white wolf or on a white power. I don't know, whatever, for whatever reason you like Wolfram, because all Wolfram is, is uh, a B2 with B2 audio with a wolf on it. So that's all Wolfram is. Uh, and the dude doesn't even, he works from home too. He, he, the, he uses, um, it's a UPS store over in the north side of the valley. And then he goes to the UPS store and he picks up his amps and, you know, at the UPS store. So that's your big fancy brand, Wolfram. But the reason why they do that is uh, because he's a nut hugger and, and he's probably friends with the owner. Or worse, the owner, that's the owner under a, like using a fake name. Uh, yes, yes, Internet. Uh, people use fake names online. Um, mine is Andy Adams after my uh, neighbor friend as a child but um we were mean to andy but i loved andy but i don't think andy knew it but that's not like in a gay way god you guys are fucking pervs but like in a weird like i don't know like you love a dog kind of way andy always had the best toys because he was an only child well he wasn't an only child but he's definitely an oopsie child his uh we were like 10 and his brothers were like 26 <laughs> So, and his mom and dad were like retired and very heavy set, and uh, they made Andy heavy set. And it didn't help that he was like 11 and had like a size 13 foot and had to wear orthopedics and all kinds of very hardcore nerd. Like, you guys think I'm a nerd? Oh, Andy Adams is a real nerd, but I use Andy Adams as a screen name sometimes. But um, so, yeah, the reason why uh, people on the internet do that is because they're trolls. So, and what, you know what's funny is I'm a troll. I, I don't. I don't mind poking the bear. I don't, I think it's fun. If you can do it in a, a snarky, uh, beautiful, creative way, it's one of the most creative and entertaining art forms, uh, is trolling. But if you're doing it to like, you know, like who, Trumpers, Trump people, those are trolls, but they're, they're like out and about and they're waving, you know, they raided the fucking Capitol Hill. It's like, Jesus Christ, guys. Like it was just the internet. It was just fun. So, but anyways, um, that's transmission lines. Don't use them. Um, I mean, if you want to just play around with them, they're good. They're, it's a good project for like boy Scouts. So I want to talk about the boy Scouts this week. I love the boy Scouts. I miss the boy Scouts. I will tell you stories about my boy Scouts time. Uh, it is different if you're a Mormon and in the boy Scouts versus, uh, one of those boring, regular, boring Christians, Baptists, Catholics, fucking nerds. Those are the nerds of, 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 uh, Christianity. Now, if you're a Mormon Christian, oh, well, you're better than everybody else. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later.